Okay, in this video, let's take a look at the golf swing of K.H. Lee, playing great right now at the Byron Nelson in Dallas. So let's take a look here. Just a quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please hit that like button as well. So let's take a look. So a great setup here from K.H. Lee. Super balanced looking at dress position. And in the backswing, we will see classical lines back up the line here. Club head just outside the hands and on plane. As he goes up, though, he does get the face a little more open than some players that are currently on tour that are lighting it up. As he goes up here, shoulder turns a touch flatter, and the arm's right up there, and the face gets a little open. Not crazy open, just a little bit. Club face still in position okay with the wrist angle itself, with that left wrist nice and flat. And then as he sits down to create some power, he will have a, a little tougher time staying on plane. At this point right here, it looks like he's in position. The only things we can see here, the lower body looks great, but the shoulders are a little closed. Club face is perfect, the plane is good. But as a club comes down, as we would expect this club to keep working its way down to the plane and shallow out and swing to the left, the hands will ride off the plane here. You can see from this position, the hands are actually moving slightly out And that sends the, the whole business, the club, everything out this direction off the plane. And that can be trouble for players because the club will then twist more through the impact zone. As you can see, the club face closing rapidly here. And that's why this, he just might be a player who, you know, he's, he's great, he's on tour, just might be subject to some inconsistencies because of that. To me, his backswing pivot could prob probably improve, improve a little bit, get the shoulder plane a little bit steeper, and that would allow him to get a little bit uh, easier chance to get the hands closer to the plane and not having them right off this direction. Like I said, which kind of brings in the push hook combo, that sort of long extension flip look that some players have on tour that are they're, they're great. They're just tend to be less consistent than sort of the household names. When we look and see what might take those hands off the plane we want to look sort of at the body motion also on the downswing. So with the, the shoulder plane on an iron, it'll be a little steeper. But as he takes this club up, I like the pivot motion here. This is very, very classical pivot in the barrel. So very good extension behind the ball. Ideally, when he comes down, though, he will be able to stay more in that box and less of a lateral shift. And in some of the videos, we see even more of a shift laterally coming through and that's what tends to send the club more down the line instead of to the left around the corner. So as he sits down, if that club can track more around to the left, it's easier to control. If he plays a draw, probably easy to control on most days for him with such great rhythm and talent. But on the days where it's tougher to get the rhythm right at the tempo, if he has more slide, it can be more, more difficult for him to control the club face through the hitting area. This one here, an iron swing from another day. He's actually sitting down a little bit more inside the barrel, just a little bit, a little less lateral shifting, which will, once again, it opens up the plane of the swing so that the club can come around to the left side easier so the hands can stay in closer. And if that happens, the face will twist less and he gets more control through the hitting zone. And of course, more overall control of the golf ball. Looking at this fairway wood swing, it's kind of ideal for a lot of players if you're actually trying to get your handicap down from somewhere in the high 20s down into the single digits. This is a great swing to look at. Club up the plane, back in great position, sits down and shallows it out. And once again, the club gets on the plane and then rides out to the right, which is sort of ideal for creating more of a draw shape. So if you're a higher handicap, it's a great swing to look at. If you're a lo real low handicap, trying to create more straight flight or even more of a fade, well, that club's off the plane on the way through and that's hard to control. So, you know, for players like him, as, as he works this club down to the plane more or the hands down to the plane, that then gives you more club face control at the bottom. But if you're a player who's trying to get a draw into your game and eliminate some fades and some slices, this is a great swing to look at to copy. Beautiful lines to create a ball that will start out to the right and curve back into the left. One last look at the driver from down the line. We can see on this angle here, 
Camera's a little bit high up in the air, but it's a good takeaway plane. A little out of sync at the top, arms run on a little too long. So when he starts to get coming down, the arms are left behind a little too far, a little out of position here. At this point, if he was, the club stops somewhere in this area with his arms, probably easier to control. But like I said, I think more of that due to the, the shoulder plane being a little flat. And then as he comes down, he's a little behind here with the arms and the hands. And now watch these hands are gonna ride outward instead of downward. And even though the wrist is in position, it's good. I mean, he's certainly, when he's in rhythm, he's, he's on tour, he's great. You know, he's gonna play well. Certainly lighting it up at the Byron Nelson right now. It's more a case of, on a week-by-week -week basis, is it harder to control that rotation on the way through there to where I get that much flip over and a little less clearing than some players. Great rhythm, great tempo, it's gonna be his week. Tempo's a little bit off. It can be a little more difficult to control. Lastly, a face-on view here. Fairway wood. Beautiful pivot. If you're working on your backswing, I know there's a lot of theories out there, but watch these players on tour. They're just turning in the barrel. They're not shifting. There's a pressure shift. shift. There's probably 10% pressure changing in the foot over here, but there's not a massive lateral shift. So be careful that you're not shifting to create your backswing. Turn, stay in the barrel. Keep your spine angle constant. Like I said, for this player, if it's synced up right, the arm stops somewhere in there, it'd probably be a little bit easier to control. Sometimes they ride on a little farther and that gets him leaning forward. And that can move the whole swing forward. And once, once the whole body starts to move forward too much this way, it can be difficult to control the angle of attack and also the release point. Even though it's not a massive shift, there is a shift forward. Once again, some weeks better than others. Turning the barrel pretty good coming down on this one though. And I can't wait to see what happens with this game. The rest of this week, hopefully he gets it done on Sunday. Has another great round. Fun player to watch, beautiful rhythm. And let's see what happens into the weekend and the rest of the year. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video, KH Lee. Once again, if it is your first time to the channel, please hit that sub subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.